Scandals. We love them. We love the drama. We love to see who's coming under fire for what controversies. Do we agree or disagree? I feel like these are the moments in which we establish where our moral compasses lie and also just sit back and realize that people really be doing the most. Scandals are not foreign to the art world. Art fraud, forgery, plagiarism, outlandish artworks, there is plenty of moments and today we will be ranking some of these controversies. So howdy, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Rumble. Yay! And for those who don't know me already, I'm an artist and a fine art student and I make videos just about that. So if that interests you, you might want to stick around and give me a subscribe down below. I like things. And by you clicking on this video, I'm pretty sure you like things too. Sometimes when I am perusing my cell phone or laptop as one does, I may come across an art scandal and think, huh, I wonder how this compares to other art controversies on a tier-like system. Yep, this is definitely a real scenario, which is what we'll be doing today. Huge disclaimer, this video is not to be taken seriously. There will be jabs and pokes. But before we get onto the video, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you're notified when next upload a video. I'm trying to upload on Mondays and Fridays, occasional Sundays and Fridays. Because my schedule is undergoing a bit of a change, you might want to make sure that your notifications are turned on so you never miss a video from me. I have an announcement to make in this video. I don't know why I closed my eyes for that. We recently hit a thousand subscribers. <laughs> and for that, I did a giveaway. I had tallied up everybody who had entered and put it into a randomized generator, a spin the wheel type of thing. I honestly wish I recorded it because then we could like have that like wheel of fortune moment. I have the names of the two subscribers and the winner is drumroll please. These two lovely people, congrats, you are the winner. Prize, there is a third winner, and that is, drumroll please. Hi. Congrats to all of you. But thank you to everybody else who entered, and thank you to all of you who have subscribed in the meantime. Long intro, let's shut up and move on. Okay, so I made this tear maker, and only now I'm realizing that the colors don't make sense. But... <sighs> I don't want to change it. <laughs> there are five different levels and it's basically on how I'm going to rank them like from really messed up to I kind of I kind of I see the vision. So the first one, the best one, is I like you have a cookie. But this video idea was completely plagiarized by this video right here. And it was very entertaining about her ranking nibble babies. Her first tier was I like you have a cookie. And I couldn't think of anything with Tia. So that is completely copying her. Thank you so much. The first tier, I like you have a cookie, is for those controversies where I'm like, yeah, okay, it was controversial, but like kind of popped off. The second one is as good as the second eye. Um, and you know when you're like drawing an eye, try an attempt to do a second eye and it's just like, yikes. You attempted, but was the attempt successful? Okay, the next one is I hope your paintbrush gets stray bristles. I hope you kind of step on a Lego kind of moment. Not horrendously terrible, but it's also like you did this for what? The next one is Vincent Van Nope. Get it? Because it's like, It's not like giving jail, it's not giving corruption. Like it is corrupt, but it's a corruption. Do you know what I mean? And the last one is jail now. That's just like literal jail. <sighs> I just got tired of talking. <laughs> First one is this instance that happened last year. On June 24th, FBI agents raided the Orlando Museum of Art in Florida, removing every single painting from the Heroes and Monsters, a show that claimed to introduce 25 never before seen Jean Michel Basquiat. The Orlando Museum of Art in Florida had the show going on that was supposed to be showing like over 20 never before seen Basquiat paintings. And the FBI raided it because it was suspected that these paintings were inauthentic. But here is the funny part. The big red flag was that one of the works that Basquiat allegedly painted was on the back of a FedEx box. And the corporate typeface, like the font on the box was created in 1994. Basquiat died in 1988. <laughs> oh, that is so embarrassing. That is so hilarious. If you're going to like attempt art fraud or forgery, don't you think you would have like been a bit more thorough, especially if you were going to claim that it was a work from the Basquiat and also the fact that you are as big an institution as the Orlando Museum of Art. Hey, um, boss, this cardboard box is a little bit, like, new. Do you think we should kind of find something from back in the day to make sure that, you know, nothing is sus? 
Nah, we're good. The Orlando Museum of Art director Aaron DeGroft had repeatedly insisted that the artworks were genuine. <laughs> I feel like this this controversy is more hilarious than any, especially because the fact that like it was the dates, like mixing up the dates that badly was how they got caught. I mean, like forgery and stuff is a big no no. But if I'm looking at, I feel like how I reacted to this controversy because it was just like very hilarious and like embarrassing. I feel like I might put it like maybe like. I don't know if it should go in I hope your paintbrushes get straight bristles or Vincent Van Nope because poetry is like a big thing. This is kind of big. Put it on Vincent Van Nope because it's also like it's jail worthy like this is this is crime. <laughs> the next one is the AI art takeover that had been roaring through 2022. Specifically I'll be talking about the event that started a lot of the discourses. Basically last August a man named Jason Jason who? A man named Jason Allen <laughs> had won a $750 prize at the Colorado State Fair for his work that was a fantastical scene. But it turned out that that work was completely AI generated, meaning he did not create that. Now I've already made a couple AI art related videos. If you haven't watched them, I have above. You probably already know that I am not too on of a art. I'm appreciative that this situation has started a lot of important conversations such as what is art? The greatest existential question of all time and also like what the value of an artist is. In regards to this specific event, if it was like talking about AI art in general, I'd be putting it under Vincent van Gogh. But in regards to this specific event, like it was a state fair. The prize was $750. I don't even know who Jason is. So I'm gonna put it like, I hope your paintbrush gets straight bristles because it's not cool to like fool people into thinking you did that when it was like AI. But also, Jason, I don't know you. <laughs> it was not at the Mitt Museum or the Zaitsmoka or the Tate Modern, you know? <laughs> the next one is a new trend that has been arising. Climate activists vandalizing masterpieces with their dinner. I'm pretty sure at one point or another you've seen that video of that guy who was pieing the Mona Lisa, but that was not an isolated case. There has been a rising trend in protesters and activists vandalizing great old masterpieces with food. Throwing your leftovers at artworks is the latest trend now and I hope you guys get on that bandwagon before it runs away just like people are removing fugal fat and um, I actually don't know what else is in trends. I deleted TikTok. So so aside from the Mona Lisa getting pied in the face, a couple protesters in October in Germany threw mashed potatoes on Monet's Haystacks painting. Other activists in Italy threw various forms of soup. I saw pea soup and tomato soup at two Van Gogh paintings and they all glued their hands to the wall whilst they were saying their speech in the protest. We have a full dinner that's just going on to these very very expensive very iconic by young adults and people who actually look like they're teenagers in all honesty tonight we'll be serving a lovely filet mignon with roasted asparagus and a hazelnut gelato that sounds delightful we'll be having that will you be taking that on a rembrandt or a vermeer i don't know i'm kind of feeling like a jackson pollock do you have that in the back yeah i'm gonna put this under Vincent van Nope because there's so much. Okay, first of all, I just want to know the correlation between their protest, which is on climate change, and these paintings. I understand that there's a huge audience on the art world, but these it just makes it kind of look silly. Don't get me wrong, I'm not anti-protest. We have the right to protest for a reason. It just feels like a bunch of breakfast bandits broke into a museum and had some personal beef with Monet. Isn't that not very illegal? It's not like any of them were damaged. There's glass protecting them so they just like were wiped down and then like that's the end of the day. It feels illegal. It's giving illegality. Yeah, I'm gonna put it at Vince. I'm gonna keep it at Vincent Van Gogh. Next one is one that I feel like all of us were aware of last year when Kim Kardashian wore Marilyn Monroe's dress at the Met Gala. This gown was worn in 1962 when Monroe accompanied then US President John F. Kennedy on his birthday. When people were enraged because of how historically significant that dress was, it should never be worn by anyone else and it should just be kept in a state of preservation and should just not be worn by someone 
at an event just for vibes. I'm gonna put this at I hope your paintbrush gets straight bristles because I really do cringe at the fact that she wore it. That dress has now been affected forever. But also I saw online that she bought it at an auction. So technically. Hi, okay, a little update. It wasn't her that bought the dress at the auction. It was Ripley's, like Ripley's believe it or not. So it's not her dress. And I put it under, I hope your paintbrush gets straight bristles because I thought it was her, which makes it even more messed up watching other people explaining like the magnitude of the dress. The fact that Marilyn Monroe herself said she didn't want anyone else wearing her dress yeah it's going under vincent van nope the next one is damien hurst just the artist himself there's a lot to talk about with damien hurst i just don't like him i put him here because he's a walking controversy is it me am i the drama i don't think i'm the drama plagiarism or in more serious terms him referring to the september 11 attack as an artwork in its own right and the fact is, he said that in 2002, a year later, aka when it was still very fresh. Family makes me want to murder people. Or having 9,000 butterflies die for his artwork. Um, but this is not anything new to Damien Hurst. He really likes animals and death. Feel free to disagree with me. His work is just not my cup of tea in where I stand. Ethnically? ethnically i would put him under jail now but i feel like that's just me being very biased so i'm gonna put it on vincent van nope there's just so much around him that is controversial that he's allowed to get away with because of who he is <laughs> the last controversy we're going to be talking about is the art from wim de Voy. apologies if i've not pronounced that properly he likes tattooing animals specifically pigs you heard that right just leave animals alone is my general philosophy let them animal wow you look peaceful i'm going to disturb that he tattoos different things it can be pop culture like one of them has the louis vuitton iconography he does say that the pigs receive humane treatment they are sedated when he does tattoo them so they don't experience any pain i would put it under as good as the second eye because attempts are made to make sure that these pigs aren't harmed personally i'm not a fan of any works that use live animals or involve killing animals to create that work. So maybe I'll just put it on, I hope your paintbrush gets straight bristles. Because another thing he did talk about is that he thinks about how animals are just being seen as food by humans and doing this sort of adds another depth to viewing animals. Do we have to make these pigs look like they have a whole underground mafia happening in their pig's back? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it there. You know what? Yeah. It was actually quite hard to find a lot of art related controversies, especially recent ones. So that's why there's only six. But now that I'm looking at the results, this is kind of boring. Like I only used two out of the five years. All of them were kind of messed up, but just like two slightly varying degrees of messed up. <laughs> uh, let me know how you guys would have ranked these six controversies. But I'm going to end up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like, if you like me, subscribe. Comment down below all that fun jazz. And until then.